Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use custom list view in an Android Studio. So we'll be creating one custom list view. Uh, in, inside that, we'll have an image view and one text view. So if I click on this computer, so I will get toast as a computer. If I click on any of the item, I will get toast. So let's create the app. So here I have created one empty project. So first we will copy 6 photos to our drawable folder. So I will just copy it and I will paste it into our drawable folder. So now we will just drag list view. Uh, first we will change this layout to relative layout. And now we will drag this view to our screen and we'll provide it ID so custom list view. Now we'll create its reference object in our Java file. So private list view and custom list view. So now we'll initialize it. Find view by ID R dot custom list view so now it will require two arrays so first of string array and another uh, integer type array so so i will just paste our branch name array so here compute uh, here engineering branches and now we'll create one integer array so private integer So r dot drawable dot one r dot drawable dot two dot three Six last. Okay. Now we will create one layout. So just click on layout, new layout resource file, and we'll name it custom list view. We'll change its layout to linear layout, and we'll set its orientation as horizontal. And now we'll require here one image view and one text view. So we'll set its height as 50 dp and height as a 50 dp. Now we'll provide it ID as image view and we'll give it margin of 10 dp. And now we'll add one text view. We'll set its width and height as a wrap content. We'll set one text here. Let's say coding stuff. Now I'll provide it ID as a text. We'll set text style as a bold and margin from left of 80 dp. We'll also increase its size to 24sp. Okay, and we'll provide margin from top as 20 dp. Okay, and we'll change our linear layout height to wrap content. Okay, now it's cool. So we are done in custom this too. So now we have to create one custom adapter because original array adapter will not be able to fetch uh, this data. So we'll be creating new adapter for it. So just click on your package new and new Java class. We'll name it as a custom adapter and it will extend to array adapter. Okay. Now we'll press alt enter here. So it will create constructor for us. So before that we'll create context variable 
and our two arrays say branch name and one integer array for our image resources so now we'll delete this int resource and we'll pass here our string array and integer array and we'll pass here our resource as a layout so r dot layout dot custom list to and branch name So we have define our constructor. So now we have to override one method that is get view. So just write here get view and we'll delete this. So now we have to create one layout inflator object because we have to inflate our custom list to layout. So just create the layout inflator object. So layout inflator inflator we have to type cast is so layout inflator get context dot get system services and inside that context dot in layout inflator service and now we'll store that view so we'll create view view is equal to inflator dot inflate or uh, we'll pass your layout r dot layout dot or layout custom list view and then we'll pass null and false and a semicolon so now we'll initialize our text view and image view that is present in this custom list view so image view and text view its id so text view m text view is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view and similarly our image view m image view view dot find view by dr dot id dot image view so now we'll just set it so m text view dot set text and we'll pass here branch name of position and m image view set image resource and we'll pass here image resource of position and lastly we have to return the view so we'll return view so this is it for custom adapter so now we'll close this and we'll code in our main activity so first we have to create object of our custom adapter so just write here custom adapter adapter new custom adapter and we have to pass here context so this and branch name and m images and now we'll set this adapter to our custom list to so m custom list to dot set adapter adapter so this is it now we'll run our app and check if it's working or not So yeah, it's working. One, two, three, four, five, six, and computer mechanical. So if you want to, if you have to add on tick listener to it, so just write here m custom list to dot set on item click listener. Set that new adapter view on an item click listener, and we'll just pass here toast. You can do anything here. So we'll be pro providing here branch name of position so if we click on mechanical it will show mechanical whichever item is selected it will show 
so if i click on computer toast will be show as computer so this is it for now make sure you subscribe the channel for upcoming android studio tutorials so thank you for watching